Your Honor, so Your Honor. my my object. Well, first of all, um, my motion is a motion for a mistrial uh, based on the actions of the prosecutor. My my objection initially to the uh, to the the item was that it contained hearsay. Um, the state represented at the bench that it was not hearsay. There was no hearsay contained in it. Uh, we did not address uh, the issue of what the state already knew, which is that there was a phone number attached to it that she was going to try to elicit um, testimony from this witness about who that phone number belonged to. Um, that is, in, in and of itself is speculation, but it's certainly hearsay. So DDA Sprinkle, when you reviewed the social media accounts for Quindarius Zachary, for Diamante Kendrick, for Shannon Stilwell, um, did you observe or did you review the social media accounts for any of the other persons um, in this courtroom today? Yes. Whose? Uh, uh, I believe... Um, and if you need to refresh your recollection, please do so. Okay, I believe uh, Jeffrey Williams. Okay. Uh, I, I looked at his. Um, Diamante Kendricks, we already discussed. Okay. Shannon Stillwell, or Shannon Jackson. Okay. That's all I can remember for right now. Have you reviewed the social media account for um, Rodelius Ryan for any reason at all? Yeah, uh, yeah, I believe I did. It wasn't. In, it wasn't with regard to this investigation. It wasn't in regards to the Donovan Thomas investigation. No. Okay. <clears throat> now, what information did you use from the social media accounts you just described to the jury that aided in your investigation? Well, there was a, there was, there was a lot of. Th I mean, there, there's photos and videos that depict certain things and these things for example would be who people Were it wouldn't able to uh, see any associations that yes objection as to hearsay ever old uh, yeah yeah i mean if i see a photo and i'm not naming anybody specifically but if i take a look at a photo on a social media page and i see that it depicts say four people um, and they're all together and they appear cordial, then from that I could say, well, they at the very least were cordial in that instance. And if I see multiple photographs that show that, then I say, well, it seems like that perhaps they're associates. And then from there I can continue to Actually delve. to the speculation. Ever old. And then from there, I'd, if possible, I'd get a search warrant. I'd be able to find communications. And if the communications concern some of these parties that appear together, then I would be able to glean a little bit more insight into their relationship. Okay. And when gathering these social media pages and sites, are there phone numbers associated with them as well? Yes. Did you look at any um, particular locations of interest as it related to those phone numbers that you gathered during your investigation? without saying what you did, but did you look at, for instance, um, places like the green store? I did. All right. And did you look at, for instance, places Objection like- Objection to the leading question. Sustained. Did you look at residents? I did. Okay. Did you look at other businesses? Yes. All right. Did you look at restaurants? Yes. All right. Now, when you said that you have been to Sky House condominiums before, um, do you have to do anything to get inside? I believe there was some. Uh, I believe there was some sort of controlled access. Okay. Uh, I, 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 to get inside, I don't. 
remember. I, was it, I think it was Investigator Marissa Viverito. I'm going to show you, um, we're looking at a portion, page 153 of a report that you did. Refresh your recollection. Sure. Oh, yes. I see. Without talking about what it is. Okay, I see that, yes. So was there any sort of controlled access for Sky House condominiums? Well, there was a Midtown. There was a call box. Okay. And what does that call box, what do you have to do? Well, you would call it in order to get access to the building. I just can't specifically remember if, if when I went there I was required to do that. Uh, you know, given that I went there in my capacity as a government employee. Okay. But I, I know that I identified that there was a call box, the number for that call box, et cetera. Was it controlled access? Yes. All right. Did you also look at the phone records for a 404-823-8553? And I'll ask you to, if you need to refresh your memory, I'll show you page 155 of the report that you authored. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. I looked at those. All right. And who, were, who was that number registered to? Objection, hearsay. I can ask additional foundational questions. How did you obtain those call information, those call logs? Did you get or subpoena the call records from the telephone company? I, I, had, I, I had those records, and I believe I obtained them from another investigator. Okay. Yes. And what incident was that that you looked at? There was a uh, instance. Objection. That's going to call for hearsay. Overruled. You may answer. There was a, an incident in 2015 in which Mr. That Lil Wayne, I, I believe his name is Wayne Carter, mm -hmm. it, it, when his tour bus while traveling along the interstate was sustained ballistic damage from a firearm. Okay. And did you obtain or look at um, any phone records provided by the lead detective in that case? I did. All right. What phone number was that? That was the number that... Just give me the net digits. Objection to hearsay. For the As to the phone number involved? So it yes. The sustained. Okay. Yo, hit that like for Dill Christian. Yo, for Dill Christian. Just smash that bell. For DLC. Yo, smash it. Just smash it. Hit that like for Dill Christian. For Dill Christian, smash that bell for DLC. Don't smash it, just smash it. Hit that like for Dill Christian.